Hey Nathan, it's Tuesday, November 11th. So human technology is constantly advancing, helping us learn, accomplish, and take care of ourselves. Some of the benefits of these advances aren't quite so obvious though. I've compiled a list of three new technologies that take a little looking into to see how they help humanity. Okay, so let's start off with drones. These small autonomous flying machines can deliver books and take cool aerial pictures, but Dutch student Alec Momont has designed a prototype drone to be a first responder in emergency medical situations. It takes ambulances around 10 minutes on average to respond to a dire situation. These drones, reaching speeds of 60 miles or 100 kilometers per hour, could get there within a minute. For many medical emergencies, every minute counts. In the case of heart attacks, brain death occurs four to six minutes after the heart stops, which is a chilling thought considering the average EMS response time. The ambulance drone would cut that time down to next to nothing. Coming with a built-in defibrillator, camera, and audio connection, the drone would allow the emergency operator to instruct the user on how to properly apply the defibrillator and give any further instructions or guidance while they wait for the emergency responders to arrive. These amazing life-saving drones could be available in as soon as five years. Okay, so self-flying hero drones are pretty cool, but what about sound-directed robot-controlled cockroaches? At North Carolina State University, researchers have attached computer chips with microphones to the back of Madagascar hissing cockroaches. These chips connect to the cockroaches' antennae and control their movements. Now what's the benefit of having an army of body-controlled cockroaches? I asked you, Nathan, earlier, and you were all like, I'd use them to move stuff, including myself, and infest restaurants I don't like which are things you can do with an army of cockroaches. However, the group at North Carolina State plan on using these roaches as aid for disaster rescue. After events like earthquakes and tornadoes, it is really hard to find survivors amongst building rubble. It is easiest to locate them via sound, and these microphones are able to distinguish human sounds from the rest. The microchips direct the roaches movement towards the sound, helping to narrow down the position of potential survivors, and they also create an invisible fence so the roaches don't just go roaming off after every single sound they hear. This technology has existed for a while, but they hope to put it into use soon. Possibly the strangest invention is an electric spoon that activates taste buds when used. Created by students at Abu Dhabi, the spoon's tiny electrodes send electric pulses through the tongue. Different pulses create different tastes on the tongue. Right now, the spoon is able to simulate sweet, salty, sour, and bitter, although test results indicate that bitter is the hardest to stimulate. But why would you want that part to work anyway? It's like, Oh no, my magic spoon doesn't make me taste invisible bitterness. Darn. It's okay regardless because the spoon is intended as a flavor enhancer for those who can't or rather shouldn't eat certain foods. Many people suffer from diabetes, hypertension, or other diseases or dietary restrictions that don't allow them to eat overly salty or sweet foods, which let's face it, are like the best kinds of foods. The researchers hope the spoon will spice up the lives of those who have to stick to a more bland diet, and they expect the spoon to be available in a few years. Nathan, I hope you and the narwhals enjoyed learning about these new inventions. Did you notice they were all being made by students at universities? Our higher education system really allows for some interesting and innovative creations. We'll see you on Friday.